everyone welcome back to my channel if you haven't been here before my name is Morgan I am a stay-at-home mom with a two-year-old little boy almost two-year-old uh, little boy named Owen and I am currently I'll be 17 weeks tomorrow pregnant with a little girl um, I make new videos Mondays Wednesdays excuse me heartburn Mondays Wednesdays and Fridays um, on motherhood and lifestyle anything like that so if you haven't been here and you haven't clicked subscribe yet I would really appreciate it if you hit subscribe um, today oh my gosh I get heartburn as soon as I turn on the camera um, and if you have been here before you're noticing I'm wearing the same shirt I'm actually not pre filming these videos it's just I have like three shirts that fit me right now because I haven't gone and gotten new maternity clothes so <laughs> I had to do that this week um, so today's video I'm gonna do is things I want to do differently with baby number two um, now this is to do with pregnancy well not so much pregnancy birth um, postpartum and like actual babyhood um, so I have a little list um, so I don't forget but the first thing um, I really want to do differently is I would love to have a spontaneous labor I don't think this is going to happen um, I was induced at 38 weeks with Owen because I had gestational diabetes and still at 38 weeks he was just short of nine pounds so I don't think they're gonna let me my midwife um, I already asked I was like hey like is there any way I could go in and labor naturally and she said she kind of looked at me and she's like I mean I can't say no but probably not because <laughs> um, she said she I was under the impression if we had left him in there for an additional two weeks, it was like, ah, oh, how big could he get? And she was like, yeah, he could get really big in that time. Um, and I struggled a little bit with the almost nine pound baby. So um, if my midwives, um, and I also go to a neonatal specialist, um, if he says, and the midwives say like, hey, it's not safe, you need to be induced early, obviously no questions asked i'm gonna get induced like no questions asked safety first um they're the professionals but if they say like yeah you could try it um i would love to go to 40 weeks or as, i would love to go into labor naturally if i can um but i i don't have high hopes <laughs> um what else oh the next one is i really don't want people in my house after baby gets here um I typically don't like people in my house a lot anyway um, I'm a total introvert homebody I don't like being touched like I don't like hugs I don't like handshakes I don't like people getting too close to me it's, I've always been this way I just I prefer my space and it's my space <laughs> um, but I mean like I know people mean well but I had so many people in my house the first like week or two Owen was born and I was breastfeeding and I was hurting and I was tired and the last thing I wanted was people sitting on my couch <laughs> um, so this time what I think I'm gonna do is I'm gonna tell everybody hey if you want to come see baby uh, within reason um, come to the hospital because actually I liked having people in the hospital because it wasn't my house it was it wasn't my element I, I felt comfortable there um, all the nurses were really great they helped me with everything um, I don't know I just I was stressed having people in my house so I'm gonna tell everybody if you want to see baby right away that's fine come to the hospital and it's not during flu season she's gonna be born I'm guessing late July um, so it's not like a high sickness or anything so um, I would prefer people to come visit me in the hospital <laughs> um, this one I'm not 100% sure I'm gonna do, um, but I've been talking to my friend and I think I might hire a postpartum doula. Um, birth doula, I truly don't think I need. Um, my husband's an RN, an emergency room RN, and he's like the best birth doula I could have had. <laughs> he was doing, not more work than the nurses, but like he was doing all the nurse work for me. Like I, he was a plus <laughs> um, like wonderful having a nurse husband um, so I don't really think I need a birth doula but I didn't know there were postpartum doulas and I guess from what my friend said they come to your house and like if you need 
laundry done or you want just somebody to hold the baby for a few minutes while you take a nap or something like that or you need somebody to um, feed the baby, I, I will be breastfeeding but obviously I'll pump and all that, um, then they'll do that. But it is kind of pricey so I'm not sure, I don't know, I'm not sure. <laughs> but that is something I've been looking into because um, insurance doesn't cover it at all. And on the same token of breastfeeding, um, I'm going to stress less about breastfeeding. At least I tell myself I'm going to stress less. When I had Owen, it, somehow it got like ingrained in my brain. If I didn't breastfeed him, I was a horrible mother. Like, and I think that's a really common thread, um, like especially in social media. And like, I feel like people mom shame and that's like one of the number one things. They're like, oh my God, you, you didn't even try or something like that. My milk didn't come in until he was like 11 days old, so I had to supplement or he wouldn't have had food. Like I was pumping, I was nursing, nothing coming out. Like there was minuscule and it wasn't like everybody will say, oh, well, it's enough. Your body makes enough. I really wasn't making enough. Like my lactation consultant was like, you're not making enough milk. <laughs> so um, uh, I had to supplement and I felt so guilty about that. So this time I'm going to try to go in and be like, listen, fed is best. The baby has to eat, doesn't matter how the baby eats. <laughs> so I breastfed Owen until almost a year. He got tired of nursing. He wasn't, he was just done. He was like, I don't want to do this anymore. So he weaned himself pretty much. Um, so I'm gonna worry less about breastfeeding. <laughs> I'm also gonna try to worry less about keeping her on a schedule. Um, I'm a very scheduled person. Um, I like things certain times. I'm a very regimented person. I like that. Um, I like predictability. Uh, so I, from like day one, I was like, okay, baby needs this much sleep. He needs to be awake at this time, asleep at this time, awake at this time. I, no, I don't care. <laughs> um, and when he was, when I was worrying about his schedule, I was also worried about my schedule. So like, as soon as he went, he was like a week old. As soon as he went to take a nap, I'm like doing dishes and, and doing laundry and stuff. Like, I'm not worried about it. <laughs> I just, it's too much stress. I'm not worried about that so much anymore. The last thing I want to do differently with this baby, and it's a little controversial, um, but I don't care. <laughs> um, we sleep trained Owen. Um, we let him cry. Like a horrible mother, I let him cry. Um, and not just hours on end. Sometimes he did cry for hours on end. It didn't matter if I was holding him or not. He was just... <sighs> Ooh, he was a rough newborn. Um, he had a uh, reflux and all that and it was, it was bad. But um, this time I'm going to sleep train and know that it's the right thing for our family. Um, unless it doesn't work for her. Like obviously I don't know her yet. But like for our family, Owen, we sleep trained him in two days. He was six months old. He went from sleeping like three hours, maybe four at a time before I had to go nurse him back to sleep. And then his pediatrician was like, girl, what are you doing? No, make him sleep. And I was like, okay, I mean, you're a doctor. So the first night he cried for like 20 minutes, I think. And then he was sound asleep all night long. And the second night he cried for, I, I timed it, four minutes. He cried for four minutes, went to sleep. And then every single night after that, absolutely no joke. Every single night after that, he slept 12 to 14 hours. So, less than a half hour of crying, and he sleeps. He was six months old. It was like the day he turned six months old. Um, we came back from the pediatrician, and I was desperate. And I was like, sure, whatever. <laughs> um, so, from six months old, and he's he turns two in two weeks, he has slept no less than 12 hours every single night. So... I don't care if I'm a mean mom for two days I'm gonna be a mean mom for two days because people will ask me they're like oh my my son's two and he still doesn't sleep through the night and I'm like girl what are you doing <laughs> I mean I know it doesn't work for every baby but I was certainly happy with being the mean mom for him to sleep for 12 hours <laughs> so um I I I have not had a bad night's sleep in a very long time uh because of Owen so I am 100 percent as long as it works for her, going to sleep train and have absolutely no problem with it. <laughs> um, like no problem, I'm not worried about it. <laughs> okay, so that is everything I wanna do differently. I mean, I'm sure there's other things, obviously I'll do different things, but these are like the big ones that came off the top of my head when I was thinking about doing this video, things I wanna do differently with her. Can you hear my dog snoring? I don't know if you can hear it, but. 
Also, for people who have been here before, um, I sold my camera, my other camera, actually, this camera. I sold this camera and I haven't shipped it yet. So I haven't been using it just because I'm like, that's my luck, I'll sell it and I'm gonna break it. So I haven't been using it, it's just been kind of up here on the shelf. Um, and I had to wait a little bit till I got my new camera. So I kind of had this like, like break in between, but now I have um, this camera, which is a lot smaller. So I'm gonna try my very best to stick to my intended schedule of Monday, Wednesday, Friday, and I hope that works. I have a whole calendar of videos planned out, so I really, really hope I can stick with it. Um, so please subscribe if you haven't already, and I promise my videos will get better. <laughs> so um, that is it for my video. So I would really appreciate it if you told me down below in the comments, if you have one baby, um, even if you're not planning on having another baby, like if you could change something or if you could do something different, let me know what that like biggest thing is. Okay, so that is it and I will see you in my next video. Bye!